welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about what to take with you if you're going on a winter holiday. So I actually find winter holidays are really hard to pack for, whereas with the summer holiday you can just pack like bikinis and sandals and sundresses and that kind of thing and everything's kind of very light. In the winter time everything's heavy and bulky and big and you need to be kind of smart and tactical with your packing so that you can basically take everything that you need with you and so your, your suitcase isn't overweight. So hopefully you find this video useful and it'll kind of give you a little bit of insight into what to take with you on your winter trip. Okay let's get into it. Okay so the first thing you need to think about is what kind of coat are you going to take with you. A coat is the most essential item when you're going on a winter holiday if you're going to invest in anything that it should be a coat um, and I also think you kind of have to think about what type of holiday you're going on so is it going to be like a city holiday is it going to be a skiing holiday are you going to be doing a bit of both and that will kind of help you to determine what type of coat to take with you so for city breaks I tend to take um, this big black puffy Zara coat with me it's got a hood it's got fur around the hood um, and it's just like it's quite long it's quite tailored and I like it it's chic enough to wear in the city and it's also warm enough for the mountains and um, I also have two big coats I also have my bright red para jumpers coat which you'll have seen on my Instagram and just oh I love it so much it's quite bright but I really love it um, and it's hands down the warmest coat I've ever owned in my life and I probably will ever own. So that kind of coat is good if you're going on like a city break, maybe you're doing like a road trip and you're going to be just outside and something like that will keep you really nice and warm. If you're going on a skiing holiday then you should obviously be looking at ski gear. So obviously a jacket, something that's warm, something that's waterproof and windproof, that's really important. Um, something with a hood and it's also really useful to have kind of just like skiing features and so things like the little pocket on the arm or the chest where you can put your or, um, ski pass and things like that and that just makes life a little bit more convenient when you're on the slopes. Along with that you'll need a pair of salopettes. So my salopettes are from, uh, they're Columbia and they're just black salopettes um, they've got little pockets on the back and on the side and kind of got like a thermal like layer um, inside and with salopettes a lot of people think that you only need to wear them for skiing but actually you wear them for more than skiing so if you're going snowshoeing, if you're going snowmobiling or dog sledding or even just walking outside and it's really really cold a good pair of salopettes will really save you and keep you nice and warm. Another option if maybe you're going to do a city break and you're going to go to the mountains for one or two days and you don't really want to take all your ski gear with you is to just rent it at the resort and I've done that at Whistler before and the gear is all being really really good it's really quite cost effective and it's cheaper than like buying everything if you don't already have it um, and that's just a good option to kind of save space in your suitcase but you're not really sacrificing the gear when you're in the mountains. Another option and something that I often do especially in spring um, when it's a little bit warmer and we're like hiking we're snowshoeing doing that kind of thing is basically just layer up so what I have is I have um, a thermoball jacket which is basically a puffy jacket, this is from North Face, it looks really really bright on camera, it's not that bright in real life, um, and it's just like a down jacket, it's quite thin and light but it's made of thermoball and it's incredibly incredibly warm and so I use this as a middle layer, the base layer I'll wear like sports gear or thermals and then on top I will wear this North Face outer shell jacket and this is waterproof, it's windproof um, and I basically pop that over the top, it's got a hood and that keeps me warm and I quite like wearing that when it's a little bit warmer when it's sunny or when I can kind of just take layers off when I need to and then add layers when I need to as well and that kind of takes up a lot less space in your case than a big puffy ski jacket so that's kind of another alternative if you're going to be doing a bit of skiing or kind of outdoor activities. Another winter essential which is really really important is a good pair of snow boots. So these are from Keen, they're black and white, they've kind of got like a sheepy furry kind of lining here, I don't know what it's called, um, but they're just, they're quite sleek for snow boots, that's why I like them, and they're quite light and they're not too bulky, but they keep my feet nice and warm and dry, so even if we're not in like knee deep snow, even if it's just icy or a bit snowy or slushy, then I'll always wear these because I just, A, they don't ruin my other shoes, I can just wear these instead, and they're really hard wearing, so they're not going to get wrecked, um, and I also have really good grip at the bottom, so it means I'm not falling all over the place. Next up on my list of winter essentials is accessories. So it's always quite nice to take a couple of different hats and scarves and gloves with you just so you can mix things up because when you're taking pictures every day you probably don't really want to be in the exact same outfit every single day and it's easy for that to happen when you've only got like one coat and one pair of sad pets with you so accessories are a really good way just to kind of mix things up a bit. Gloves are my first item and they are so so important. These are my ski gloves and they're from Solomon. They're kind of made of like leather 
and another fabric, I don't know what it is, but um, these are really good. They've got like fur inside, they're a bit more expensive, maybe about $150 or so, which I think is kind of on the higher end for a pair of gloves, but they're so good. If you're gonna invest in like one accessory, make it a good pair of gloves because I've had crap cheap gloves before and they just don't do anything and you end up with like really really cold fingers and it's just not nice and I have really bad circulation as well and my fingers are always the first thing to go so a good pair of gloves is really really essential. I'll also often carry with me a pair of mittens, these are just from H&M I think, they're a little bit better, probably a new pair by now <laughs> um, but yeah they're really good just to kind of slip on and I'll also usually carry a pair of e-tip gloves and they're normally just quite, um, quite thin and just like skin tight and they're good because it means you don't have to take your gloves off when you're outside and when you're using your phone you can just keep them on and when it's like really 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 cold it will save your fingers. Other things that are good to take with you are of course goggles so these are from Roxy. I love these goggles so much they're just so cool and they're nice and bright and blue um, and I'll also usually take a couple of hats with me so you'll notice that these are the same they are the same they're both from Roots and I just it, hats don't tend to suit me that well but these two they do suit me really well so yeah that's why I was just like stick to what I know stick to what I know looks good um, and they're just really nice and big and chunky and they'll just give you a little bit of extra protection when it's really cold and windy what else oh socks socks are really important so get yourself a really good pair of socks thermal socks are really good um, and what I've learned is it's better to have a big thick layer something that is designed for like warmth than wearing lots of thin pairs of socks so I used to always wear like a pair of ankle socks and these and my feet would get so cold like my toes would just hurt and I never knew why and then I realized that these types of thermal socks have technology in them that they keep your feet warm and you don't need a pair of socks underneath because that just kind of stops them from working. So just get a good pair of socks and then you can wear these um, in, with your snow boots or with your ski boots or snowboard boots or whatever. Another thing that I'll always take with me is a big scarf. So this is my big blanket scarf from Demand General. It's absolutely massive. <laughs> it's huge and it's good for like at night time, in the daytime, it's good for on the plane, it's a really good blanket um, and a scarf like that is just really versatile so it'll keep you nice and warm. Next up on my list of winter essentials is base layers. So base layers are actually really really important, more important than you think um, because they basically help to keep you warm but they'll also help to keep you dry when you start sweating and when you quite, get quite hot when you're doing winter activities. So base layers are essential. You can either wear thermal base layers and they'll obviously keep you really nice and warm but I often just wear sports gear so it's got to be like decent sports gear that's designed to help to absorb sweat um, and it's basically designed to stop you from feeling cold when you do sweat because that's obviously really really important when it's really cold outside you don't want to be cold on the inside underneath all of your layers so I'll usually take a few different sports tops this one's just from Nike it's just strappy it's quite light and it's skin tight when I'm skiing I normally wear um, a, a top like this like a fitness top and then something like this which is just kind of like a running top but it's just thermal keeps you nice and warm um, and then I also wear a good pair of leggings these are also thermal they're Nike running ones so they're kind of designed to like regulate your temperature keep your legs nice and warm um, and they're really good to just like keep you warm, keep you dry, and you wear that under all of your winter gear. Next up, we have knitwear, and it's tempting to take every single jumper and big chunky knit that you have on a winter holiday, and actually the reality is you only end up wearing like probably like maybe three at the max. Say you're going on holiday for a week, you will probably only end up wearing like three because you can wear knits more than once, um, and obviously you don't have a lot of space in your suitcase, you've got to be smart and you've got to just take as little as possible but kind of enough so that you're not wearing the same thing every single day. I'll usually take with me if I'm going away for like a week, I'll take a few pairs of jeans because like I just I live in jeans in winter um, so maybe like two or three pairs will be fine. I'll normally take three knit jumpers with me. So this one is I think it's from Forever 21, got it last year. It's a bit thinner um, but it's just really really comfortable and then I'll take something a bit heavier so this one is from misguided you've seen it in my other videos because I, I wear it so much i need to get a new one and then i'll usually take a bigger thicker roll neck 
This one was from Aritzia um, and it's very, very warm and I'll wear that sometimes on slopes over like my base layers or just kind of when we're out and about in the village or when we're about at night or just when it's really, really cold. It's also good to take some lighter layers with you. So say you're going out for dinner, so you're at a ski resort and you're going out, um, then you can kind of wear a big chunky jumper on top, but you can wear something underneath. So you might want to wear like a thinner layer. So this is just from New Look. It's just a very simple black knitted top very thin uh, but I just think it's it's quite classic and it's quite nice and then I'll often take very very light items like blouses so something like this so if you're gonna go out for maybe drinks or if you're gonna go out for dinner you can just throw this on um, and then you can wear sort of your knitwear on top but one good thing to remember if you're gonna go to a ski resort it's never ever dressy. You might find a few nice restaurants, but even there, people are super casual. People just wear their ski jackets out, people wear their snow boots out, even on nights out, people wear snow boots. Um, so yeah, you really need to like ditch the heels, ditch the like super, super dressy stuff because wintry holidays, so, like ski resorts and stuff, tend to be very, very casual. Another good thing to take with you, um, which I know it sounds a little bit sad, but it's always so comfortable <laughs> after a long day, is pajamas. <laughs> so, I love my pyjamas. I got um, this pyjama set from Jack Wills for Christmas and it's just like a plaid print. They're really loose and baggy and they're like quite a thick material. So I got the bottoms and then I also got um, just like a long sleeved loungewear top. Um, but honestly, it's the comfiest thing, especially when you've been out in the mountains and you've been cold all day and you want to warm up, you just want to come home and put on a nice pair of PJs or like sweatpants or lounge pants and obviously a nice big pair of socks um, and that'll just help me to warm up and help me to feel nice and cosy. So that's kind of, I suppose it's not really an essential but it's just a nice to have. Another thing which I'll always make sure to take with me whenever I'm going on a winter break is skincare products, especially products that are really going to hydrate and nourish my skin and stop me from getting like dry lips and dry skin and dry hands and dry hair because I don't know about you but when it's cold or when I'm in the mountains or when I'm skiing it really plays havoc on my skin and I hate having dry skin so I always try and bring a few products with me um, that will basically just keep my skin nice and nourished and nice and nourished um, and keep it looking healthy. For my hands my holy girl product is the Kiel Ultimate Strength Hand Salve it's just it's so good I can't actually take it out with me because the bottom's falling off I need to get a new one um, but yeah this is absolutely brilliant and also the Kiel's um, eucalyptus lip relief this is also the best uh, lip balm or lip salve I've ever used for skin um, I've been using these skin SkinCeuticals products recently and they're fantastic they're really good um, the best ones for me the ones I like the most are the uh, CE Ferulic Serum don't know if I said that right, but it's basically an antioxidant serum, and that's great for just kind of like protecting the skin, making your skin appear youthful, um, and I find it just, it works wonders. And also the hydrating B5 gel is also really good, and that just helps to kind of retain moisture in your skin and stops it from getting dry. And for a cream, I've been using the Vichy Aqualia Thermal Cream, and that's brilliant, and it's very thick, it's very nourishing. It's actually a night cream, but I use it in the daytime, and I find that it's, especially when it's cold, it stops my skin from drying up. For like my body, I'll use Usually use the um, Body Shop Butter. This is a sheer butter, and it's really nice. It's really nourishing. It stops me from getting dry skin. Um, and also for my hair, I normally bring an Argonol with me. It's just um, an Argonol of Morocco oil, and it just kind of helps to keep my ends nice and hydrated, so my hair doesn't get too dry. Another thing which I think is really important when you're traveling in winter, and it's kind of just like a general travel hack, I suppose, but it's more important in winter when you don't have a lot of space, um, is to take miniatures with you. So that's like miniature toothpaste, miniature nail remover, uh, a nail varnish remover, miniature like shampoo. I love these little um, travel bottles, and they're just like empty bottles and I always just fill them up with like moisturizer and like shampoo and conditioner that kind of thing uh, mini hairspray mini um what's that um oh my god what's it called face cream face wash <laughs> God, why can't I remember what that's called? Um, and so that just basically helps you to save a lot of weight in your case because if you're taking giant big bottles of everything, it soon adds up and in winter you don't have that much space and you don't have that much weight because you've got so many other big heavy things. So um, even just if you don't have like this in miniature form, this is an old bottle, whenever I travel I'll fill it like half full so I'm not taking the whole thing. Um, and every little helps, it just helps to save a little bit of weight and it means that your toiletries don't weigh a ton. Another thing which I will always bring with me whenever I'm going on a winter trip is my little backpack and I know backpacks aren't really very stylish and I never really like wearing a backpack that much um, but when you're out, when you're snowshoeing or snowmobiling or skiing or whatever, a backpack is 
so so useful and you can just put your camera in there you can put water and food and a spare hat and gloves and all that kind of thing um, and it just kind of it just means that you've got somewhere to store everything because you're not going to be taking your handbag on a snowmobile like you're going to want something um, that you can just throw on your back and that you can just chuck everything into um, and it's always just really useful to have it whatever you end up doing another one of my winter essentials is obviously a good suitcase to carry everything in um, you're going to want something that's big enough to hold everything and that's light as well in itself because there's nothing worse than having a suitcase that weighs like 10 kilos and that's basically like half of your baggage allowance so you want something that's nice and light and that's not going to take away weight from your other clothes and also you want something that's stylish because it's always nice to have the stylish luggage. I really like this one from Away. It's basically a medium sized suitcase. It's got four wheels. Um, it's got like a hard shell in black. And I just really like it. And as you can see, I'm like Mrs. Muscle here, but it's only four kilos. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, it's really light, especially for that kind of size suitcase. So this is perfect for winter travel. I've actually been needing a suitcase of size for a while. A lot of my suitcases are back in England, so here we don't have that many. Um, but this is a medium size. It's perfect for like one or two weeks of travel. Um, I really like that it's got the two different sections. So I don't have any of the suitcases that have like the two compartments like this. Um, so this part is the mesh and it zips open. And in here you can store things like your snow boots, like your style of pets, uh, maybe all of your snow gear, and it's just good to have this compartment just to kind of keep things separate, so then you can just zip that over um, and it's just nice and like organised. And then this bit is, you can take this bit out, it's good for carrying things like your like your books or your documents or your iPad, laptop, things like that. And then one of my favourite features is this fold out laundry bag. So this basically like, you just roll it up. It fits ever so nicely in this little bit and then when you need it you just roll it back out um, and I think it's waterproof so it will hold like your bikini, everything else won't get wet. It's good for keeping like your dirty underwear, your laundry and that kind of thing and I find with winter travel when you're doing skiing and all that kind of thing like socks and stuff get quite smelly so <laughs> it's always good to have like a separate compartment where you can just like keep it out of the way and so everything else stays fresh. I also think it's useful um, to have the two bits for when you're travelling with someone so next week Matt and I are going away for three days this is the perfect size he can have this part I can have that part or I can have one and a bit and he can have the rest because that's kind of generally how things go <laughs> um, but it just means that we don't need to take two bags and that everything stays nice and separate and organized so yeah I think for winter travel this is a pretty good bag so I think I've pretty much covered everything those are just the types of things that I tend to take with me on a winter holiday obviously when you're traveling make sure you wear your heaviest items so wear your big coat wear your snow boots if you can wear your knitwear they will be a little bit uncomfortable but it just means that you'll save a lot of space in your suitcase and also I recommend just planning out your week or however long you're there for, plan out your outfits, plan out your activities and the sort of thing that you're going to wear for each so that way you don't end up like overpacking, you don't end up taking too many jumpers for how many days you're there and that will help you to save a lot of space. And in terms of clothing, um, layering is key so maybe take like two or three big thick jumpers, wear one when you're on the uh, on the journey over to wherever you're going um, and then just take lots of light layers so like thin blouses or thin t-shirts or thin tops and that kind of thing and that way you'll have lots of options but you're not taking up too much space. And in terms of footwear, remember Remember that nice shoes will probably get wrecked in the snow so if you're going to like a ski resort you'll probably end up wearing your snow boots most of the time because I've worn like leather boots or suede boots in ski resorts before and they just get wrecked because they'll, they'll uh, salt or grit the ground and that just kills your shoes so you'll just end up wearing your snow boots just so that you can save your other shoes. So yeah that's kind of it. Hopefully you found this useful and it's helped you if you're packing for a winter holiday. Um, if you've got anything to add or if you've got any questions or anything like that just drop me a comment in the box below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos from me. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.